So far, we have been talking about theoretical situations in which we considered the growth response of one species. But what would happen if we considered multiple species? This would force phytoplankton species to compete for nutrients in order to grow. This is called resource competition. In the mid-1970s, David Tillman developed a resource competition model which stated, given two species competing for the same limiting resource, the species able to survive and reproduce at the lowest concentration of that resource will take over. In theory, this makes sense, but Tillman developed his model in a controlled experimental chemostat. The coastal ecosystem can actually support huge diversities of plankton, many of which overlap in nutrient requirements. So how do these species coexist even if they require the same resources? If there's nutrient limitation, then the species that can outcompete its competitors should dominate the system. This has long been referred to as the paradox of the plankton. One potential explanation is that coastal habitats and their resource inputs are constantly changing. This would allow for different species of plankton to persist because each is adapted to survive in slightly different environmental conditions. For your lab exercise, you will get the chance to test out these ideas by changing the concentration of nitrogen, phosphorus, and silica in a theoretical chemostat. Download the Microsoft Excel file by following the instructions provided in the lab manual, and as always, feel free to post questions and discussions in the forum. Have fun.